Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Up here in the northern part of the world, we have got all of our leaves starting to drop, which creates a major headache for us, the anglers, if you still want to be on the water. You know, whether the leaves are floating on the surface or they're sinking to the bottom of the lake, it really can limit the baits that we get to choose because it prohibits us from working the baits in specific manners. If you've got a treble hook bait, they get stuck on the treble hooks. If you want to throw top water, they don't allow you to work a top water bait. And if you're dragging something on the bottom, your bait gets covered in leaves. So it becomes a nuisance to the angler in terms of how efficient we're working our baits on the water. And that's what I want to talk about today. I've got several tips for you in specific lures that will outweigh all of these falling leaves and allow you to still get a lot of bites in your favorite areas without getting all of the leaves stuck on your line. So that's what I want to get into today. Before I do that, I want to remind you guys that if you want to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one virtual lesson with me, you can go into the link of my video description, click the link to the one-on-one -on -one virtual lessons, and you can find out all the info there. It's a really good way to go over your local lakes, to go over specific fishing techniques, and allow you to ask me questions that you want to uh, have answered. And also, if you're looking to support the channel, guys, please use my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link to make your tackle purchases. It's a great way to support the channel and very much appreciated as I get bombarded by the leaves, almost as if it's on cue. So there are a lot of different baits out there that we want to throw during the fall time, but really cannot because of how inefficient they are when you've got leaves around. You know, you talk about your jerk baits, your crank baits, a jig, all of the most popular baits in the fall time do not work real well when your leaves are covering your favorite spots. So I have a few baits here that can really help you uh, just lower the chances of your bait getting caught up. You know, I love to throw topwater baits in the fall time. It's one of the best ways to generate a lot of action and at the same time, get you some of the biggest bites that you're gonna have all year round. The problem is if you wanna throw your spook type baits, your poppers, your chopos, anything like that, they're gonna get caught up very easily in the leaves. One bait that seems to work very, very well is a buzz bait. This is just the Dirty Jig Scott Canterbury Pro Buzz, one of my favorite buzz baits to use. And it's just one that really comes through the leaves very well. Now, having said that, if you happen to be fishing a place that has uh, a lot of leaves that are just kind of jagged, which are some of your oaks have a lot of different arms on it, or you're fishing in a place that has a lot of pine needles that are dropping, that's not going to bo uh, bode real well for a buzz bait. Now, when that happens, if you really want to still throw a topwater bait, guys, do not think that you can't be throwing your frogs. A frog is a great bait to be able to work through the leaves. I can't tell you the number of times up here in the North Country where I've been fishing just my local rivers and I have mats of leaves that are formed because the current and the wind pushes them into eddies and you know certain shorelines. And when that happens, I can go through it and fish a frog just like it was matted vegetation. And I generate a lot of strikes from both largemouth and smallmouth. But you can also fish a frog as if it's a walking bait out in the middle of the lakes on some flats and various places. So don't think a frog can't be a very good bait in the fall time because it can and it's one that for sure comes through the leaves extremely clean. Now, another bait that I love to throw is a jerk bait, but a jerk bait does not work well when you have both leaves on the bottom of the lake and leaves on the surface because if you're not right in the middle zone, you're probably not going to be able to work it through clean. And in the most times, you're going to have leaves that catch your line, slide down to the bait and ruin your cast. Now, when that happens, one of the baits that I love to go with is a swim bait. But I like to rig it as a Texas rig and put a bullet weight on the front. I can change the depth of this by swimming it with a heavier bullet weight or a lighter bullet weight. But the key here is because I fish it as a Texas rig, it's weedless and it comes through those leaves very, very well. Another tip I'll have for you on this is to go with one that's a little bit uh, more made of more tougher material. This is the Berkeley uh, Power Swimmer. This is an extremely tough plastic bait that is much, um, it'll last much better to just the ripping and the constant pulling through the grass versus some of the softer swim baits that are out there. 
that just don't really hold up well when you're jerking your rod tip. So don't think you can't throw a swim bait. You just want to make sure your hook is buried in the bait like you would have in a Texas rig. Now another bait that I love to throw is a jig. But one issue with the jig is it's always on the bottom. Therefore, it's always getting caught in leaves that are sitting on the bottom or piled up around a lay down. But a jig's a great bait to throw. Now, having said that, the problem is, like I said, it's always on the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll counter that by throwing a swim jig. A swim jig has a head design that is meant to swim through grass. Well, it comes through leaves and floating debris that's in the water extremely well at the same time. But because it's still a jig, I can drop this down into the laydowns. I can drop it into holes in the weeds, fish it around those isolated pieces of cover that the fish are gonna be using in the fall time to ambush bait, as well as absorb warmth from some of the cover that's in those areas. So even though this is a swim jig and it's meant for straight retrieving through higher up in the water column, I can still fish this as a jig. But because of my head design, and the hook eye being perpendicular or parallel to the hook, this comes through weeds and floating debris like your leaves much better than a traditional jig. So don't think you cannot throw a swim jig in the fall because it's a great bait. Now, lastly, one bait that we all like to throw in the fall is a crankbait. The problem again with a crankbait is generally speaking, you're gonna be deflecting off the bottom. And if you've got sunken leaves on the bottom, it's gonna create an issue. Now, if you really wanna still throw your crankbait, one recommendation I'd have for you is to throw a lipless crankbait like this war pig. The reason for this is you can do, you can maintain a certain depth much better than you can with a crankbait. Meaning if you're, if you're fishing a four foot flat and you, you know the fish are just scattered around that flat and you're fan casting, with a crankbait, it's gonna be consistently bumping off the bottom. With a lipless crankbait, you can keep this off the bottom. You know roughly what depth you're running it at, and therefore you can be much more efficient with this. Now, having said that, at the same time, because of the design of it, it's meant to be jerked. It's meant to be ripped through the water column, and therefore allows you to snap it free of a lot of the leaves that you wouldn't normally have with a crankbait. Because with a crankbait, those leaves get wedged right into the bill of the bait, and therefore your cast is done. With a lipless, which is meant to be ripped through grass, you can do the same thing with the leaves and therefore it just makes you more efficient and you're still getting a very similar presentation <clears throat> that you would be if you were fishing a crankbait. <clears throat> so those are my baits that I'm gonna recommend to you. No matter what baits you throw guys, it's probably gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt because of these guys all dropping down but you can still combat that. You can still be more efficient on the water and the more efficient you are with the cast, the more bites you're gonna be able to generate. It's just one of those things. It's a numbers game this time of year. So I hope this was helpful, guys. If you have other baits that you love to swim through the leaves that are falling, please share them with us so that we can learn from you guys as well. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, stay tuned for another video coming out tomorrow.